I got started in music growing up playing in really bad hardcore bands. Then I went to Berklee College of Music and had these two roommates that turned me on to electronic music. That was kind of a, a game changer for me. I realized that there's this world of sound I had no idea about. It just seemed infinite and vast, keeping everything really emotional, but really kind of cutting edge on the sound design tip. I'm Anthony Baldino. I'm a composer and sound designer and in my studio in Los Angeles, California. I've worked on Venom. I've worked on the trailers for Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, Jurassic World, Ex Machina. I've done some custom sound design compositions for Dolby. I've done remixes for Wiz Khalifa, Travis Scott, Matt Lang, Triphonic. I worked on this expansion pack with Richard Devine who, in my mind, is legendary, a real guru of electronic music, and we've played a lot of live shows together. Richard and I were approached to work on this because we're both modular synth heads and big into sound design heavy music with either synths or software, really try and push some limits with sound. When I started working on this expansion pack, the main idea was just to push Portal as far as I could and make some of the craziest presets that I could while still being usable and super musical. A lot of them are focused on rhythmic content, so it can be either synth pulses, rhythm guitar parts, drums. Um, but yeah, super, super crazy, but usable. So I've got a drum loop here that I was using to make some presets. Uh, and here's a little bit of that. So I used Portal to kind of um, stretch the time of it. And you can see here, there's all these different modulators that I use to apply to different, um, apply to the time, the density, the stereo field, and just really mix it up. And then what's really cool about Portal is you can go over here and just use this XY fader to manipulate all these different other attributes of the sound. single piece of music without sound design. Just keeps it interesting, keeps it new. I typically start with just a drone, just to kind of set the mood, set the atmosphere, um, and kind of create like a, a space that all the music can live in. And from there I'll go to drums uh, and then process that. And that kind of starts to bridge the gap into sound design um, and slowly piece by piece build up this this world of music. If you know you're gonna write for orchestra, you already have your sound palette, whereas I'll kind of make uh, my own palette and from there be like, oh, this can be my kick drum or this can be my hi-hats or all my, you know, 16th rhythmic stuff. Granular synthesis lets you break down sounds into either little tiny pieces that you can either keep really short and percussive or change the number and the size and the shape and you can smear sounds or get super chaotic and change the pitch of each little particle. There's just so many options and it's, it's kind of endless and also for me it's a huge inspirational tool. It's just kind of idea finder, idea generator. Some of the things I like about Portal is just the way it deconstructs drums and percussive sounds and takes these little clicks or pops and turns it into this just kind of wash of sound and all these little particles, but has it's really, really musical and it keeps everything in time. You can use Portal for all sorts of stuff like really beautiful harmonic content. So here's one I made for a guitar loop. Just to explain a little bit what's going on, um, if you follow this red line in the modulators, you'll see it's primarily just kind of automating the dry-wet signal of the reverb. And if you follow this yellow line, it's doing a ton of stuff to kind of change all these different parameters all at the same time. 
So you'll see up here, it's changing the speed, and then over here, the density and the size of the grains. And also this diamond in portal represents kind of random. So how much random, it's controlling how much random, you know, just a little bit or a lot. And in this instance, we have it on the pan. So it'll go from pretty much mono to just scattered in the stereo field. And it's also changing the size of our reverb. So we're not just getting a dry wet mix, but also from a really long tail to a really short tail, which gives it this really cool 3D effect. There's so much to sift through. People are using the same samples, which I get, but with all that content out there, you can take anything and with Portal, truly make it your own and truly make it unique and something new. I hope people take this expansion pack and really make some awesome music that will in turn inspire me <laughs> to do more awesome music and inspire other people because there's just so much you can do. So now that it's out in the world, I just want to see other people push limits.